peppermint, dehydrated. And this is what I showed you before of how much peppermint I have. So these are the leaves. They are so ready to um, go into the jar. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, bend them, crush them up, and then I'm just going to stick them in the jar. And then this is what the St. John's wort looks like. And I'm going to put them in this little jar right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take them like this. Just stick them in the jar and then just push them down in there. I'm not going to grind them up because I think these would probably do better if they stay whole. And you just stick them in the jar like this. So I have like four trays of this, and I think this will be perfect to fit in there. I put stems and all in there, because I don't want to waste any of it. Any of it, because it has such great medicinal purposes. So I want to make sure that it all gets in there. And then I'm going to keep trying to dehydrate as much of my, my mint as I can because when winter time comes, then I'll be able to have my tea in the winter as I'm hoping to have a little bit of snow this season. Don't want a whole lot of snow, but I want at least some snow so I'll be able to um, enjoy it as I'm watching it falling down. And you guys know that in the winter time, um, I probably won't make a video every day in the winter time because in the winter time, you know, we're not doing much in the winter. We're just trying to, that's our rest time in order to, you know, start deciding what we want to plant in the spring. That's our planting time. So I'll probably be sharing with you guys what I'm going to be wanting to plant in the next growing season. So look how much I've already received. So much of the St. John's Wort. So as it grows out there, I'll be harvesting it. And I will be putting it into this container. So I will be able to have it if I need it. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be researching some um, different herbs and stuff so I can start getting that together so I just wanted to bring you this quick little video you guys to show you that this is what I am doing you already saw my other video it shows me um, harvesting it telling you a little bit about the properties the medicinal properties of having the St. John's wort and then I put it in the dehydrator and poof, look at these. They're so dry and ready to go. Next time I saw them where they were putting the fresh leaves in some vodka. So I think next time when it grows, probably do it in the spring when, it, when I'm able to grow some more. Or I don't know how much more I have left out there or if it'll still grow enough to where I can um, harvest enough but I'm going to get a jar like a mason jar full and I'm going to do that with you guys but if I have all winter long to read up on other herbs and um, things that I'm going to be growing I've got to find out which ones I want to grow and then I'll go and order the seeds and then I will add it to my herb station because that's one thing I want to do. I want to grow more herbs to put in my herb garden. So I'll be able to be able to harvest them, dehydrate them, and um, be able to use them. I definitely know that I want to grow a lot of rosemary. Because that's good when I'm cooking with my, with my chicken. And I like to throw a little rosemary on my my tilapia so that's what i'm so so excited about all right guys well i'm almost done with 
this container, which this one is full and for four trays, that's what it dwindled down to. So this is my, um, see, this was a mandarin orange container that had the fruit in it. So repurpose and reuse these jars to use them for other things and making these, um, using them for that jar is perfect. So I'm going to stick these, these mint ones. Hold on. I'm trying to get the lid off of this one jar. This jar is like fighting. Hold up. I'll be right back. So this is how much I was able to get of the St. John's wort. Look at that. It's a lot. So I'm excited about this. That's what it looks like up close. And then this is my mint that I was able to harvest and dehydrate. And as it grows out there, I will go ahead and harvest some more and add it to this jar. And I will be able to enjoy this beautiful mint when I make me some wonderful mint tea in the winter time when I'm sitting at my window watching the snowfall. So I just wanted to bring you this quick video to let you see how my dehydrated mint and my St. John's wort came out. Looks good. All right, all I got to do now is label it and put it in my cabinet. Look at that. Look how green it is. Looks beautiful. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful day. Have a blessed day. And get out there and start dehydrating your herbs. Either if it's for medicinal purposes or for teas or for your seasonings. Whatever the case may be. Get out there. Grow your own. And enjoy all the beautiful things that you have grown in your garden by able to dehydrate them and have them at a later time. All right, you guys, take care. And Miss Renee, we'll see you in the next video. All right, you guys, take care. And grow those herbs and dehydrate and store them so you can have them in your cabinets when you need them.